so Michelle had an urge for some cookies and she did some kind of cookie thing in a skillet. It was okay. It heated them up there. The edges got really nice and done, but the middle never would. So anyway, uh, I decided I would dig out my stove. We we're going to put this stove together and I'm going to make her or attempt to make her some properly decent cookies. So we'll see how that turns out. Right, so I pull it out and I can see that my lid has a couple pieces uh, tore up a little bit. The good thing is I can just throw aluminum foil over it and just wrap it back up and we're good to go. As a matter of fact it may not even need that but we'll do it anyway. All right, so I don't have a lot of room to work over there so I'm probably not going to get to show you a lot but I'm just unwrapping the oven my skewers that go with it so we're going to get this unwrapped I'm going to try to stretch it a little bit and flatten it out even though it's got to go back into a circle or a cylinder there we go so all this is and I've showed this video before all this is is a piece of cardboard that has extra heavy duty aluminum foil wrapped around it that's all it is and it's just going to get wrapped up and make this little cylinder like this so I'll get this uh, over there ready for you and we'll get right back with you so I have a get that back in there I have a piece of paper plate that I put aluminum foil around to make a base that will sit down in here. So let me take this off here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. And then I made it considerably larger than I normally do. But there's my rack. And this is just going to sit on my rack like this. And my cookies will be on there. And the heat that I'm using will be from one of these and it will be sitting right down in there like so and I'll get it nice and toasty and then I can actually turn it off if I want and let this just bake everything so we're gonna give this a shot and uh, I'll try to show you as much as I can here's the gel fire I'm gonna use here in a minute Here's some. Uh, they can't see me, can they? No, no. Some Nestle Toll House peanut butter chocolate chip cookies, and I am going to one, two, three. Looks like four of them will be okay. They may mush together a little bit. But we're going to light this up. There we go. There we go. And there you can see. So what I'm going to do is just put the lid on here like so. Let's so find something yeah, semi. There we go. Let's set that on there. And I'm just going to let that heat up in there a little bit. And after it gets heated up a little bit, I'll go ahead and put my cookies down in there. And then we'll bake them and see what we can do. All right, so that got pretty warm in there. Whoo! Yes. Look at that. That got warmer than expected. I'm going to go ahead and 
a little more flamage than I expected too. <laughs> nope, that didn't make it go out. Yeah. So what I'm gonna have to do is lift this off. That's a really big flame. It is a pretty decent flame. Well, I'm just gonna get it hot in there. Is all I need to do is just get it warm in there. I'll set these. There we go. Got those set down in there. Just like so. There we go. And you can see those sitting in there. We'll put the lid on. We'll use this little tin here. There we go. We're just going to let that sit and let it bake for a few. And we'll have to blow that out, I'm sure, pretty quick. But it'll give us enough of heat to bake those cookies. All right, so I have not been keeping track of time because I don't think it really matters at this point. What I'm doing is just checking it from time to time. Oh, look, they're, they're in there. They're starting to do their thing. I think I'll go ahead and leave the can off at this point. So there we are. So we're getting there. We're getting the way there. They're smelling. Mm, they did all mush together though. I'm gonna go ahead and lift them up. There we go. Blow that out. I'm gonna put that back on there. And we're gonna see about maybe keeping that heat in there for a little while. See if that'll help cook them without burning them. So we may or may not have to turn the heat back on. I'm not sure, but we're gonna let them set for a few minutes like that. Oh. A little warm in there. There's the cookies. I think they need a little bit more time. I'm actually gonna I think I'm actually gonna set those back in there. I think I'll start that flame back up for a few minutes. I think I'll give them a couple more minutes to to get warmed back up and then I think they'll be good to go. Alright, yes. Absolutely. And there's some good heat in there. Woo! I'm just going to let those set for a few minutes. And then I think they will be done. Alrighty. Still a little warm. You can smell them. Oh, perfect. these out set those right there let them cool and we'll do a taste test so here's the cookies uh, oh it smells good Michelle's gonna stay off camera she's gonna get half of them and I'm gonna get half of them and I want her to give me her honest opinion and compare them to the ones that she had that she cooked in the frying pan. They definitely cooked better. There we go, B. Mm. Very good. Mm -hmm. And this is from this is from a cardboard oven, everybody. Mm. Definitely worth doing again. Good job. So Good job, babe. Thank you. Mm. So we do have an oven out in the field when we do need it, and it rolls up. It's a nice little device. I do believe somewhere on my channel, 
There's a video of me making that. So I do believe that somewhere on my YouTube channel, and I'll dig around and see if I can't find it and put a link below, uh, of me making that oven right there. So, uh, again, I don't think they would have been any better in a, in a regular oven oven. Mine had a burnt side. To you that. had a burnt side? Yeah. But it happens. It happens. It still were cooked all the way and had a nice crispy bottom. And you can tell they were oven sauce. cooked, though. Yes, you could, they looked oven cooked and they tasted oven cooked. There you go. So, it's not a massive oven. And uh, uh, I do have a cookie tin, one of the big ones, or popcorn tins, I guess it would be. Uh, popcorn tin that you get at Walmart, and I use that as an oven as well. Uh, and I plan on using that when we get out, out and about again as well, if I can find space to put it. But anyway, that roll-up oven, uh, cardboard oven, works perfect, uh, and we could just, we could bake one small item in there big enough for us right so there you go uh, cookie baking cookies while on the road or in this case stuck in a, a man cave somewhere in Indiana thank you for watching Bentley's Backwoods Bushcraft and enjoy the outdoors even if it's just your own backyard <laughs>